So what I'm going to do is very quickly here show you how to create a quiz with jQuiz. So first thing I do is going to create a folder um, that I'm going to store all of the files that I'm going to use in creating this quiz. I'm going to move any of the media files that I might end up using in the quiz into that folder. And then open up Hot Potatoes. I'm going to go to jQuiz and give this quiz a title. So I get a title and then here's Q1 and question one is going to be a multiple choice question and here are the possible answers that pe people could give. And here's feedback th that they would get when they select these various answers. And then I'm also going to select which one is the correct answer. And then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to insert a picture that might help people know what a uh, what that might help people identify that particular word. So before I do that, though, I'm going to save this quiz that we created into that folder, jQuiz storage that we had earlier. There's parts of speech. So it's saved. And then I'm going to go insert picture from a local file. And there's our picture. And I might shrink it down a little bit. So 50 by 50. And I'll align it on the left. OK. And I'll save it again. And so let's create a second question. and. I want to create a second question that's built off this same template. So I'm going to clone it. And that's going to create question two. Another way you could do it is just click the up arrow and that'd create a, a new blank template for you to add a third question in this case. But I wanted to have those answers already written in, so I cloned that first question. And this one's going to be select the noun. And because there's more than one noun, I'm going to make it a multi-select question. Change the feedback. And we're good to go. Uh, last thing I'm going to do is also configure the output so that so if you go to Options, Configure Output, what you'll get is a series of options that change how the test appears to other people when they view it in their web browser. So in this case, what buttons appear, I'm going to get rid of the next exercise and then go to Contents button because I don't have either of those things. I'm going to take out Hints as well. And I'm going to change the background color of our exercise to a really, really nice orange color. Um, you can do custom colors also and and really play with the whole thing. And I'm also going to set a timer. There's a few other sets of options as well that are worth going through, but I don't need them for this particular quiz. So we'll save it and then we're going to export it to an HTML file. So that's this blue button here or you can go file create web page standard format. And so it's going to give us an option to save the file. So file name, parts of speech, HTML files, and save it. And I'm going to want to view this exercise in my browser just to make sure everything looks OK. And you can see that perhaps the picture is on the wrong side here. 
So we'll go back and edit that, change where it is. Instead of being centered left, we'll center it in the center or on the right. We click the buttons, it responds. Here's our timer at the top. And here's our multi-select question. Um, so that is the short and dirty to create a very quick quiz. Thanks for watching.